Okay, so this video lecture is going to go over the first part of the 15.3 note guide, which um, I'm going to cover that and then uh, do some sample problems from the book. And uh, the sample problems are a little tricky, so uh, the point is to work through them, not to worry too much about them. Um, I haven't seen sample problems this difficult on the AP test before, so... Uh, usually it's much simpler questions than the AP test. So anyways, uh, let's get to it. Uh, it says, to start with here, a wave. Um, if you think about a wave at the beach, um, and uh, I know a wave at the beach tends to be, uh, tends to look sinusoidal, um, but but it, it doesn't have to be. Like here you have like more of an uneven looking wave. Um, it's not symmetrical or sinusoidal at all. And uh, so anyways, waves can be at multiple locations uh, at an instant of time. So uh, it, 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 that means we need to concern ourselves with more than one location for this wave, right? Because different locations are going to be doing different things at different times. And so what we want to describe is the amplitude of the wave, right? Whether it's um, has a positive or negative amplitude or what it's doing at that location, right? And and then we want to be able to describe that, say, uh, a distance from shore. Uh, you can think of that as being, you know, the x-axis here as being distance. Or you can think of looking at a location that is some distance from shore, say, uh, if you were at the beach and um, there was a dock uh, that you could walk out onto, and if you were to look at the water, the waves as they went by just at that location at the end of the dock, and and you could look at what would happen to that location as time goes by. So not only do we have to concern ourselves then with how far out from shore or uh, from the source, but uh, but then um, <clears throat> then also uh, at what time? So uh, because based on the time at that location, the amplitude is going to look different because the wave is passing through. So, anyways, what we're seeing is that amplitude is a function of time, and we call this a history graph. Um, and then amplitude can be a function of position, right? And we call this a snapshot graph. Now, the way to think of these graphs and not get them confused is that w one is like the snapshot graph is like taking a snapshot at, say, the lake or at the beach. And you can see the water at different distances out, right, from shore along this x-axis and what the water looks like at a set time value. So on a um, snapshot graph, right, which is what we have here first, it's like we're taking a picture of the water and at a certain time, because we freeze time with a photo, right? So a snapshot. And um, you freeze time and the amplitude is doing all sorts of different things at different distances from the shore. And that's kind of what we're saying here. Now, the other one is a history graph. A history graph is what happens, say, at the end of the dock at one location as time goes by. So uh, at the end of the dock, maybe the end of the dock at zero seconds is, is experiencing no amplitude, and then it's still experiencing no amplitude at one second, and then experiences a super tall amplitude at two seconds, and at three seconds, less of an amplitude, and at four seconds, it's back to uh, zero amplitude, and at five seconds as well. So we can see that we have zero seconds, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. So the x-axis is time, right? And this is for a set position, right, which we said the end of the dock. I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. You've been to the lake, and there's a dock that, you know, protrudes out into the water and, and you're interested in what the water is doing just at the end of the dock as the waves pass by and head towards shore. Um, whereas here, you took a picture of, of the 
of the water, right? And you can see uh, this is maybe at the shore, zero meters, and at one meter out, and two meters out, the wave looks like this, and at three meters out, it looks like that, and four meters out. So we, we set a time value by taking a picture. Um, whoops, as I write seconds there. Um, and, and, uh, <clears throat> and so what I'm saying is maybe this time value was at time two. Whoops, I erased that. Let me... Maybe this time value is set at, say, something like two seconds. Right at two seconds, we took a picture and the, the water wave looked like that, right? Uh, different distances out. And then here, we set a location. Maybe the end of the dock is four meters out, right? And we set it four meters uh, out, right? The end of the dock, which is four meters out, the, that uh, this is what happens as time goes by at zero seconds, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, so on. Okay, so hopefully that's making sense. And uh, and, and so what we're going to ultimately do is, uh, in some of the problems, we'll get um, amplitude or y as a function of, uh, of location of x and as a function of time. So we'll have a function that is um, dependent upon two variables. Uh, we won't do too much with it. We'll do some calculations, but uh, um, but still, we'll, we'll, we'll look at this equation, and if an equation was to show up, say, like this on the AP test, we would be ready, right? But they would have to give you the equation, and and you just have to be able to work with it, and so that's what we're trying to do um, is just get gain some familiarity with this. Uh, so you can see I, I um, uh, took a picture of uh, uh, page 496, and we're actually going to look at some of the the questions here, and um, I'm going to do it similar to what I would normally do if I was lecturing in class, which um, I'm going to start with question 10 here, and then after that, um, I'll give you a chance to do question 9, which is this graph right here, and see if you can follow along, and, 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 then, um, and then I will show you the answer, and you'll see if... Uh, you did it right, and if not, you can always erase it. So something like that. But let's see how this is done first. And I'm going to start with question 10, uh, which, um, once again, uh, that was kind of confusing to see. But um, this graph right here is question 10, 15.10, figure 15.10. Okay, and it goes with question 10 down here. So, um, all right. Uh it says for question 10, P15.10, figure P15.10 is a snapshot graph of a wave at T equals two seconds. And you can see I wrote that down right here, and I recommend um, not necessarily writing your textbook, but, but you know, writing that down um, uh, so you don't forget, right? Uh, draw the history graph. So we're going to draw something with time on the x-axis for this wave at x equals zero meters. So we're, we're um, considering the location zero meters for time equals zero to eight seconds. All right, so down here, you can see that we already have written up here um, x equals zero meters. So that is the location we're interested in. And, um, <clears throat> and you can see we have time from zero to eight x seconds on the x-axis. So because time is changing, we like to call this a uh, history graph. So it's going to kind of show us the history as time goes by, right? As opposed to a snapshot graph. Uh, all right, so we freeze the location on a history graph at x equals zero meters. And um, all right, so how do we start this? Well, well, what I like to do is go back up here and uh, because we care about zero meters and we have some help here, right? We have a snapshot graph at a frozen time of two seconds and we know what is happening at zero meters at uh, two seconds, right? We know it is that green dot right there. That zero meters has no amplitude um, and, uh, and, and, and this is at time two seconds. So, okay. So, um, I'm going to go back to this graph here and, uh, at time two seconds, we said there's no amplitude. 
So I'm going to draw that same green dot right there. Now, what we, what we kind of want to know here is, well, um, what is zero meters going to experience next in the third second or the fourth second, right? And um, so we'll go back up here and look, and we can see that in the next second, right, this is that time two seconds, zero meters is getting this. I'm going to write a two down there. You can see where I kind of sketched it in. But in the next second, right at time three seconds, zero meters is going to look like that. And the reason I know that is because the wave is moving to the left at one meter per second. Now you can draw this velocity only when you have an X or a Y versus X graph, right? When you have X on the X axis, when you have position, right? It wouldn't make sense on a, if you had time on that axis to, to have a velocity of one meter per second, it'd be kind of, it just wouldn't really make a lot of sense because time always proceeds the same direction, right? The arrow of time, one second, two second, three seconds. Anyways, um, this is what's going on um, at, at time uh, two seconds, right? For zero meters, it's, it's this green dot, but we know that zero meters at time three seconds is going to get, um, is going to look like this right here, right? Um, and you can see I put that right there. So I'm saying that at three seconds, it's going to have that approaching it. So if I come down here, <clears throat> and uh, so in the next second, at three seconds, it's going to have a uh, zero meters is going to look like that right there, right? It's going to go downward like this. That's what it's going to experience at three seconds. And, and then in the next second, what's going to happen to zero meters? Well, if we go back up, we can see, whoops, at time, at time four seconds, it's going to look like that, right? And, um, and uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and draw that down here. I'm just trying to transition between these two. So uh, maybe halfway between, so maybe something like that, right? And uh, I think you can kind of see where this is going. And I can connect that. Just like that. <clears throat> and then at time five seconds, what's going to hit zero meters next? Um, zero meters is going to be hit by this part of the wave right here. Whoops. This is where I'm, I have a photo on here, so it's kind of freezing up on me there. All right. Uh, it's going to look like that at time five seconds. So you can see I kind of wrote these times down here, right? Uh, five seconds is going to look like that. And, uh, so I'll go ahead and make that dot down there. It's going to be back at um, no amplitude. And then I think if we, if we keep going along with this, I think you kind of see where this is going. It's then going to have some amplitude, right, at uh, six seconds. can see this right right there and that's six seconds and seven seconds is going to be all the way up here at a at an amplitude of one right this has got an amplitude from negative one to positive one so an amplitude of one but um at seven seconds it's going to be at uh at its amplitude You can see I have my amplitudes right here, right, on this graph. And I'm trying to, you know, line this up. Obviously, it's not a very perfect looking drawing that I did or I made for this note guide or reading guide. All right. And then uh, what's going to happen after, after that? Um, it's going to move back down 
at eight seconds. Uh, yeah. And uh, zero meters is going to move back down, all the way back down to here. And uh, we don't have to go past that, I don't think, because we're only going to eight seconds. So we're saying all the way back to there, if you can see that. Okay. And um, so this is what zero meters is happening to zero meters. And, you know, when we started this right from two seconds, right? So if I go back up here, we started it right from here because this was, we set two seconds, right? That was the thing we did with this graph. It was at two seconds. Uh, zero meters um, looked like this. So what would, what did zero meters look like before two seconds? Well, we know um, right here in purple, right? This is what the wave, what, 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 what came through. This is, that was the part of the wave that came through the purple part before two seconds. So at time, so what I'm saying is at time one second, it looked like this. And maybe at time zero seconds, it looked like this, right? It didn't have an amplitude at those times. So really, I guess the wave hadn't come through yet, but, but or you can think of it as the, that no amplitude approached it, right? The flat part approached it. That's, that's fine too. That's really, I guess, what happened. So, um, so what I'm trying to say is at time one second, we'll have that amplitude. And at time zero seconds, we will have that amplitude right there in the purple segments. So coming down here, we can extend that here and here. And here, just like that. So there we have it. And I can make those ones a little brighter. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so this is the history graph for position zero meters, and that is how that that is made. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So uh, what I want you to try now is to try to make the history graph for question number nine. And nine is, uh, I'll, I'll put it right here in this, whoops, it's trying to highlight. Um, I'll use this green highlighter right here. So, whoops, that looks yellow. Why does that look yellow? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I'll use red highlighter. All right, so this is nine right here. And uh, it goes with this figure right here, P15.9. And you can see I wrote wrote down right there that um, this... Uh, uh, snapshot graph was at time zero seconds. And it says for problem number nine, figure P15.9, which I just highlighted, is a snapshot graph of a wave at zero seconds. So I wrote zero seconds. I'll write it again just so you can see. All right. Um, draw the history graph for this wave at six meters. Um, okay. Okay. And, and we want to go from t equals zero seconds to six seconds. So for question nine, which I believe is down here, um, you can see we already have it labeled for zero seconds to six seconds for six meters. Now we do know what is going on at six meters at zero seconds. So I'm saying we should start right here, right? That is where we know what's going on. So what I want you to do is uh, pause the... Uh, pause the video, give it a try, and um, and see if you can get this right. And then I'm gonna go through it. So go ahead and hit pause, I'll wait a few seconds, and then I'm gonna start going over the answer. All right, so let's go ahead and, and, and go over this. So I'm saying up here, <clears throat> we know that uh, six meters <clears throat> is experiencing this at zero seconds. And notice the wave is traveling to the right. I think last time it was traveling to the left. And, and this time they're telling us that this is what is coming at six meters uh, in the future, right? So I'm saying that at zero seconds, six, six meters is gonna get that. And then at one second, it's gonna get hit by that, right? Because this wave is moving to the right. And then at two seconds, six meters is gonna get hit by that. In three seconds, that. In four seconds, that. 
five seconds that, and six seconds that. Uh, and if you were to go back in time um, before zero seconds or previous times, this would be at negative one second. Um, six meters would have been would have looked like that. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that's pretty straightforward. So uh, the toughest part is gonna be bringing this down because uh, uh, as, as we go here, so we're saying that at time one second, it should look like that. So it's just staying flat. So let's go ahead and put that in. Um, then at time, <clears throat> at time two seconds, it's gonna go up like that, six meters. And then six meters is going to get um, that right there. So, and in two and three seconds. So at two seconds, maybe be halfway. And three seconds, it's gonna be an amplitude away. And notice that we had six meters, right, as our, our set uh, position. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect some of these because I think it's nice to do that as we go. All right. And then at four seconds, six meters is going to look like what? Well, uh, looks like for four seconds and five seconds, it's going to stay up there. And and then at six seconds, it's going to uh, to drop down, right? So um, I think we're saying this, this, and then this. So something that looks kind of like this, this, and then that. All right, and I think we got it. And like I said before, if you wanted to go back in time one second, I think we'd have a negative one back here. We would have had this. All right. Cool, um, hopefully you got that right. Uh, once again, these are like mental exercises more so than um, anything else. Uh, getting used to the idea of having time on the x-axis uh, where, say, the wavelength would be the period and then having position on the x-axis, which is, say, up here, where the wavelength would actually be the wavelength. So um, wavelength is usually a, a distance between, um, you know, from crest to crest or a cycle, and period is the time between cycles. So uh, they're slightly different ideas. And in this graph, you can see wavelength, and in the other graph, you can see the period. All right. Anyways, if that doesn't make sense, I'll go over that some other time. Um, but we're getting used to these. All right. So let's now do... Uh, questions 11 and 12. And once again, I'm going to do question 12. And then you can try, <clears throat> you can try 11. And the answers for 9 and 11 are in the back of the book. So that's why I picked those ones for you to try. Um, so you can always check your work there too. All right, so let's look at 12 first. So 12 is down here. And 12 goes with P15.12. Um, this looks like a history graph, right? And uh, time is passing by at position two meters. Let's go ahead and read it. It says P15.12, a history graph at two meters of a wave moving to the left. All right, so notice we can't see that in the history graph. They had to tell us that moving to the left part. And that is gonna be important. Um, so if you didn't, if uh, so that's something we want to, uh, to just maybe underline. All right, uh, draw the, and, and it's gonna move left in the other graph, right? The, the uh, snapshot graph, it's not gonna be, obviously it only moves one, one way here, right? It only moves um, as time progresses, right? And, uh, and time only goes forward, so uh, yeah. Uh, all right, anyways. Draw the snapshot graph of of uh of this wave at t equals zero seconds. All right. So down here for question twelve, 
we have uh, t equals zero seconds. We have the reminder here. Notice that v is one meter per second to the left. Um, but uh, but um, time is equal to zero seconds here. So uh, if and I can I can highlight that real quick for our uh, snapshot graph. Um, so we want to know what's going on in all these different locations. Notice we got some negative locations uh, here. I'm not sure if we need those there or what, but but we're gonna do that I think because I put I wrote them in there at least. Um, <clears throat> so uh, here we we know about we know what's going on or happening at two meters, and we want the snapshot of this wave at zero seconds. So at zero seconds for two meters, we can we we know that we're experiencing an amplitude, right? Uh, a height of positive one. And, uh, okay. So, uh, so we can go ahead and come down here and, 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 and bubble that in, right? For two meters. So for two meters at zero seconds. Okay. So this is zero seconds. And we know that two meters is experiencing this, right? Okay. So uh, <clears throat> a second later, now the wave is moving left. So whatever is going to hit two meters next is, is, is coming from the right because the wave is moving like this. So it, it's coming from three meters, right? And uh, so what's going to happen next this is at zero seconds for two meters what is um yeah what's going to happen a, a, a second later so if i come back up here i can see that two meters a second later is going to experience this and so that's going to be coming from three meters and that's going to be coming from four meters right This is kind of what I'm saying here. And this is going to be coming from five meters. And this is going to be coming from six meters, seven meters, and eight meters. Uh, this will be at one meter. And this will be at zero meters. Uh, and, 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 and that's kind of what we're looking at here. So, whoops, let me erase that one. That should have been drawn up top. So I'm saying something like that. All right. So uh, so let's slow down for a second. So so we're saying that um, the next thing to happen to two meters, right? Uh, it, it, a second later, at because we we started at zero, uh, it doesn't even look different anymore. We started here, and so a second later, it, it's it's going to look like. Um, uh, it's going to stay at one one. It's going to stay at one uh, amplitude, right? So let's go ahead and uh, bubble that in for for three meters because this wave is moving uh, left, so it's coming from the right. And then, so we're saying it looks like this so far. And uh, then another second later. It should be down here, right? That two meters is going to look like that. So this is what four meters currently looks like, right, at, at, uh, at zero seconds. So that right there, I think I have this right. All right. And then we're saying then it's going to be here at uh, <clears throat> um, at five meters, right? This is uh, this is what is um, in future times coming to two meters. So um, we're down at zero. And then I think it's just going to stay. 
this is what's coming next, right, in the future. So uh, you can kind of get the pattern. I feel like if I go too slow, I actually end up confusing myself or end up, you know, losing the thread of the problem. And you don't have to go that slow unless it's helping things. All right, so um, we're seeing something like that, right? And uh, and we we this is at time zero seconds, right? So what did two meters experience before zero seconds? So we can come up here and see that two meters experienced um, another one high, and then and then a uh, zero amplitude, right? Um, so so what I'm saying is the the second previous it experienced a one high so it was experiencing this and the second pre previous that it was down here so it's going to look like this now um can we go even further back i know i wrote a negative one and negative two here I don't think so, um, based on what, what information they've given us. I think this is about it. But, um, but yeah, hopefully uh, this is what you had. Or, or actually, no, this isn't the one you had. This is the one I taught you. So, so hopefully this is making sense. Uh, you now can, can try one on your own. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, because I don't think I can go back further than that. Uh, I can go check really quick. Um, I mean, maybe I could go back one more second, right? And, um, <clears throat> and, and, and say that that is what two meters experienced, um, three seconds before experienced a flat amplitude. And so, um, down here, uh, it would be, it would be, um, three seconds before. So, uh, it would be like that right um yeah that that that's what um yeah let me just go ahead and bubble that in okay so that's what the the wave um looked like that hit uh that hit um two meters three seconds before yeah okay um anyways i good um, hopefully this is making sense and uh, you're seeing how to make this wave. Uh, all right, so um, I want you to go ahead and try the next one on your own. You can go ahead and uh, and pause it again. Uh, you are going to try question number 11, which is once again going to be the same, um, meaning you're going to take a history graph and turn it into a snapshot graph. So you'll make the snapshot graph right here. And you can go ahead and, and pause your video and give it a try. Um, when you do pause it, make sure you, uh, I, I thought this, this probably goes without saying, but you, you want page 496 open. <laughs> um, and so you can do the problem. So pause it right there and try question 11 on page 496 or pause it here and you can look at my page there. All right. Okay, so uh, let's go over this. Let's see see how you did. Um, so question 11 here, let's see, goes with, uh, how am I going to keep this? I used the red highlighter last time. Let's try that again. It seemed to work. All right, so we're going to go with um, this. And it looks like we're using this figure down here. And you can see that I went ahead and wrote zero meters in um, because they gave us a uh, history graph for what's happening at uh, position zero meters. And it says uh, P15.11 is a history graph at zero meters um, of a wave moving to the right at one meter per second. All right, that's important. So go ahead and highlight that. Uh, it's different than last time. I think the wave was moving left um, this time it's moving right, so it's coming from the left. Uh, draw a snapshot graph um, of this wave at time equals one second. Okay, so time equals one second. Um, you can see we we have that highlighted here. Um, it's moving 
once again, from the left, so it's moving right, we said, at one meter per second. And uh, if, we, um, if we go back up, I think we can say something about one second, right? That zero meters at time one second uh, is, is, is doing that. So zero meters at time one second has no amplitude. Okay, so down here, um, zero meters at time one second, zero meters is right there, has no amplitude. Um, now, we know this wave is moving to the right, so it's coming from the left. So what is uh, zero meters going to um, be, be hit by next, right? So at one second, it looks like that. What, what does uh, zero meters, or what does, or what can we say, yeah, is, uh, is going on there with, uh, with zero meters, right? Because I think we know more about that, right? We know that zero meters next is going to, in the next second, this is at one second, and in the next second is going to look like that. So that's what's coming next, a uh, one low is, is, is a negative one is right of amplitude, right? Um, is, is what zero meters is going to look like next. So, uh, okay. So down here, um, <clears throat> this wave we said is moving right. So it's, it's coming from the left that zero meters is going to get hit by that next, right? So, uh, that's what we're saying. So at negative one meter, we expect to see um, that right there, right? And, uh, okay, so, so what we're saying is this is zero meters. This is negative one meters, right? Because the, the wave is moving right. Um, this is negative two meters. Mm. This is negative three meters. This is negative four meters. This is negative five meters. Oops. Dang. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay, so we expect it to stay uh, at... Um, at, at, at the negative amplitude, uh, if I if I go back to the next down here, what's coming towards it? So we expect what's coming towards it to be this, and then at negative three meters, what's coming towards it is actually a one high. Okay, that's kind of tricky. So. All right, so we're expecting to be all the way up here. Whoops, was I in the wrong color? Thought that was gonna straighten out. Sometimes this, this computer program will draw a straight line for me in it. I like that, but uh, <laughs> didn't do it there. It's like waiting, <laughs> awkwardly waiting. All right, so, um, at negative four meters, we expect a zero amplitude and negative five meters, zero amplitude. All right. <clears throat> so we're saying something like that, 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 yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have used black here, with the black line. I didn't think about that. You know, I don't have... Um, you know, I don't have to hear you guys complaining when I'm making these lectures uh, in, in video recording them, which is pretty nice sometimes. <laughs> and uh, so I, uh, but also it, it kind of like, it, it can be bad though, because then like, I, I don't, you know, there's stuff that I don't think is out that, that you're like sitting there going, what? like, I don't understand that. And I'm just like, you know, lecturing away. All right. So we got that happening right there. <clears throat> so. Um, 
Okay. So uh, we, we know that zero meters is, is going to have all of this happen to it uh, as, as this wave moves to the right. But what did zero meters have happened to it before, right? And, and, and so I think we can keep graphing here. And I, I don't know if they asked us to, but, but I think we can say what happened before one second, right, um, to zero meters. And so if I come back up here, we can see before one second, zero meters got hit by that, right? And, uh, and, and, and that, that'd be, uh, yeah, that'd be, uh, two seconds before and three seconds before. So it's not really exciting, but it definitely got hit by a zero amplitude, um, three seconds before one second, right? So, uh, <clears throat> so this is at time one second that we froze it, right? But we know that zero meters experienced, uh, or what the wave looked like, the, what, what, the, what wave passed through zero meters? And it was this, right? And this, and this. So let's go ahead and sketch that in. All right, I think we answered the question. I. I don't know if they asked what 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 time span they asked for exactly, um, but I, I think we got it. All right. Hopefully that's making sense and you can see that. I didn't read what hint I wrote right there, so if you read the hint, uh, good for you. And if you didn't, well, it's there. <clears throat> okay. So that was question eleven. It just says draw a snapshot of this wave. So it didn't, didn't give us uh, distances, a range of distances. But that's okay. We covered everything that we that could possibly be seen from this. So um, once again, mental exercise here. Um, so don't worry if you can't, if you're struggling with these. Um, these are these are always kind of not difficult for me, but not easy for me. So I don't know, but I can make a mistake on these really easily. And uh, so the point is that you're just trying to, uh, like I said, they're like push-ups for your mind and the mental, mental exercise and, and just try and work through them. Um, but, but that's it. So uh, I think the rest of the note guides you can do on your own. And I um, thought there was one more thing I wanted to add here, but uh, I don't know if there is. So I think, I think we're good. Um, all right. Oh, I was going to go back and draw a blue line through through these ones, but I think you can kind of see them. I think it's okay. It's just hard on that one for some reason. <clears throat> All right, anyways, have a good day.